Now to an update on the recovery of a St. Pete woman who lost both her legs due to COVID-19 complications. Claire Bridges returned home earlier this month after spending two months fighting for her life at Tampa General Hospital. Now thousands follow her story on social media and she tells ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon she could not have done this alone. Claire Bridges spent two months in the hospital, at times on life support, including a ventilator and dialysis for her kidneys. She's thankful, she says, for a new normal. I'm definitely going to rock climb. I'm going to hike the Appalachian. I'm going to go back to modeling. Everything's going to be a new normal, and I'm very grateful for that. I think this was a gift in disguise to humble me. Bridges contracted COVID-19 in January, complaining mainly about severe leg pain. She was hospitalized at Tampa General Hospital, where doctors amputated both of her legs after complications from COVID. Bridges was born with a congenital heart condition. It's terrible that I lost my feet, but I lost them. There's, they can't save them. And in order to save me, they have to take it off. So yeah. I was just like, okay, well, I'm getting bionic legs in. The founder of the nonprofit organization, 50 Legs, held a fundraiser at the Dog and Parrot Pub in Indian Shores earlier this month. The nonprofit raised money to get Bridges prosthetic legs. The community is still collecting donations online through a GoFundMe page. As cliche as it is, just to not give up because you will get through it. And I mean, there were points when I thought, that I was not going to make it. Bridges just celebrated her 21st birthday earlier this month. She says making it home from a two month hospital stay is a victory. She is grateful for the love she feels around her. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.